वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज पोस्टेड बाई मिस्टर रामानुजन एंड एज वी नो ही वॉज लाइक अ जीनियस ओके एंड नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट कुड नॉट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो नाउ लुक ओवर द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवन एंड एक्स प्लस रूट वाई इज इक्वल टू लेवन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई नाउ सी This looks very similar to a simultaneous equation, right? So what we can do is we can use these three methods, which were taught in standard ten to us. One is elimination, another is cross multiplication, and the third one is substitution. So let's try with the method of substitution. So in that case, what happens is I can write from here that root of x is equal to y. Sorry. Minus y plus seven, so I can say x is equals to seven minus y the whole square, correct? So substituting this over here, I can say that x, sorry, instead of x, I'll write down seven minus y the whole square plus root y is equals to eleven, correct? So now I'll shift everything on this side. I'll just keep root y over here. So root y is equals to 11 minus 7 minus y the whole square, and let's expand this. So I'll get 11 minus 49 uh, minus 14y plus y square. So when you open the bracket, you get 11 minus 49 plus 14y minus y square. So this now becomes Um, I will show 14y on in the beginning, and this is minus 38 minus y square. Okay, this is still equal to root y, and we need to find the value of y. So that will now become 14y minus 38 minus y square, the whole square. So here we have three terms. Basically, this will look like. A plus B plus C the whole square, and we know the expansion of this one is very big. Okay, I'm not saying that with this you will not be able to find the value of your x and y's, but I'm telling you for this it will you will take more than an hour to get to the value of y. Okay, and trust me with all of these, just we used substitution method in that if. we had not used this and we had used cross multiplication or elimination we would have still got stuck and we would have gone there is possibility for us to make a lot of mistakes in this particular methods so what did ramanujan sir did okay to do this okay it's very very simple okay okay i'll just start with the solution over here students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so now understand what we can do over here is let's try with subtracting them okay so if i'm subtracting what i'm getting is root x minus x Plus y minus root y is equals to minus four. Okay, so basically I can write this as nothing but y minus x. I'm just writing the roots together. Okay, so y minus x I can put it in one bracket plus uh, root x minus root y is equals to minus four. Okay. now students please understand i want to get rid of this minus okay so basically i'll multiply both sides by negative 1 so when i do that i get what this becomes what this becomes a reverse x minus y and here there's a plus sign so when you multiply with negative i just make this plus minus and keep the bracket as it is Equals to four. Correct. Now, please understand the x can be written in terms of root x, right? If I can write root x the whole square, this is the value of x, right? 
so I can write x as nothing but root x the whole square and here similarly I can write root y the whole square minus root of x minus root of y is equal to 4 ok so now over here this is nothing but what a square minus b square the expansion is a minus b into a plus b correct so this can be written as root of x plus root of y into root of x minus root of y minus root of x minus root of y okay this is still getting multiplied okay this equals to 4 so now if you look over here i can take root of x minus root of y common root of x minus root of y common and the next bracket will be just this bracket root of x plus root of y minus this one so this bracket is already taken out i'll just put minus 1 is equals to 4 okay i hope you all have understood till here okay now students this is where we will go with our assumption okay so please understand very important thing is that <coughs> we know that root of x minus root of y into this bracket is equal to 4 okay so here i can say there will be only so many possibilities where the bracket values will get you the value of 4 okay so here we can say that if this was 2 then this value will also become 2 if this was 1 then this value will become 4 and if this was 4 then this value will become 1 correct so here let's try and add all of them okay when you add them so here the y's will get cancelled so i'll get 2 root x minus 1 is equal to this will become 4 this will become 5 this will become 5 so root of 2x is equals to add this one individually to all of these values so we will get 5 this will become 6 and this will become 6 and as we know the value of sorry in order to find the value of root x we need to divide all of these by what 2 correct so now please understand here we'll get 2.5 this is 3 this is 3 and the value of x is sorry uh, this is equals to still root x now we know the x and y are just integers so we have to disregard this value of 2.5 okay so here we can say that value of x is nothing but squaring both sides we get the value of x as 9 okay now putting the value of x in the original question the original question was what x plus root y is equal to 11 ok so let's do that or I can also do, take the first equation which was root x plus y is equal to 7 so this is root of 9 plus y is equal to 7 so y is equal to 7 root of 9 minus 3 so y is equal to 4 so this way we have found the value of x as 9 and the value of y as 4 Okay, do like and subscribe for many such videos.